This 49-year-old man who worked as a prison guard have been sentenced to 10 years in prison after violating an inmate who was in isolation suffering from COVID. According to the reports, the inmate said, I noticed he left the stain on my sheets after he finished violating me. So I cut that part off my sheets and saved it. I put it away until I felt it was safe to report what happened because I knew if I didn't have no evidence, it would be a waste of time reporting it because it would be my word against his word and they would have taken his word over mine for sure. The day he violated me, the prison had me isolated from everybody else because I was having a hard time breathing and I had a high fever and my throat was sore and my body was aching. I felt like I was about to die. And then he comes into my cell and he tell me, don't look at me, face the wall and don't say nothing. He said he wanted to humiliate me. So he went in my back door. I can't even put into words the pain I felt. The attorney for the 49-year-old prison guard asked the judge could he receive five years in prison instead of 10 because he was a mentally damaged individual who served three tours in Afghanistan and Iraq and this was completely out of his character. Listen, if he's a mentally damaged individual, how can you say what's outside of his character? We don't even know what his character is because he's not all the way there. And I've heard of people going to Iraq and Afghanistan, coming back shell-shocked, can't sleep at night, nightmares. I've heard of stuff like that, but him getting a job as a prison guard, violating women, I don't think that have nothing to do with him being shell-shocked. I don't think that have nothing to do with him going to Afghanistan and Iraq. If anything, this would make me question what he was over there doing in Afghanistan and Iraq. Because there's plenty of stories about U.S. soldiers going over there, taking over villages and small towns. And after they shoot everybody, they have their way with the women and children. Is that the part? of his Iraq and Afghanistan tour that he brought back with him? Because I think this prison guard knew exactly what he was doing. I don't think the army had nothing to do with it. I believe it's just like how the inmate said, as long as we don't have evidence, they don't believe us. And I feel like in this situation, he thought he covered all his tracks, not knowing he dropped something when he backed out of her back door. And ultimately, that led to him being in the same place that she's in.